Gym owners say the city has cut off the number one tool many people use to stay physically and mentally fit. They want to be an essential business. The Philadelphia Fitness Coalition has launched more than 30 gyms and fitness studios hoping to become part of a conversation with the city about coronavirus restrictions. It's kind of impending doom, and we don't feel like we have a lifeline. Osaya Yosunde of Fit Academy and Shoshana Katz talked with us from her studio, BPM Fitness, on Spring Garden Street. You know, it's just been incredibly stressful for a small business that runs on such tight margins to begin with, and now, you know, the margins are even tighter, especially during a time like this. Like, how are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to pay your rent? How are you going to pay your loans? All those questions are really starting to come up now. They've created a website and a petition. They say once gyms reopened from the first shutdown, they started tracking data. 30 COVID cases that have been reported, zero transmissions. They'd like to share that information with the city, but say there's been no dialogue. And I know that's tough, uh, and I know that many gym owners uh, have been very responsible and really try to protect their their customers. The health commissioner says with the virus so prevalent now, gathering indoors is just too high a risk. He says they can do classes outside, but winter is coming, and the business owners point out the shutdowns could create health problems that are risk factors for having a bad experience with COVID-19. High blood pressure, hypertension, obesity, people are going to gain weight. It's the winter season. People aren't as active. They're not going outside and moving as much. The health department also says the restrictions are temporary and death is permanent. We want to do the right things. We just can't stand by a city that tells us to close our doors and wishes us luck. And that six weeks is no big deal. Just hang tight for six weeks. When six weeks could be the death of a business that's already been teetering on the edge for the last eight months. The group is taking its argument to the doorstep of city officials, planning a distanced workout protest across from City Hall Tuesday morning. I'm Drew Smith, NBC 10 News. Count on it.